In this tutorial, we will be learning about interior angles created by parallel lines. You have already learned that interior angles are angles that occur inside a shape, and they can be created when two lines are crossed by a transversal line. Alternate interior angles are found on opposite sides of the transversal, and consecutive interior angles occur on the same side. There are a couple of cases with interior angles created by parallel lines that we will look at now. First, if the lines are parallel, then the alternate interior angles are equal. Here, we show that the two lines are parallel with the two arrows drawn on the lines pointing the same direction. We can say that both sets of alternate interior angles are equal because the lines creating them are parallel. This can go the other direction as well. Here, we have two lines crossed by a transversal and have identified two angles, A and B, which are alternate interior angles. We are given the fact that these two angles are equal. Therefore, we can say that the two lines are parallel because the alternate interior angles are equal. The next case we will look at is when two lines are parallel the consecutive interior angles add to 180 degrees. Here, we have two parallel lines crossed by a transversal line. We have identified angle A and angle B both on the same side of the transversal. We can say that angle A plus angle B equals 180 degrees and give the reason that the consecutive interior angles created by parallel lines add to 180 degrees. Like the previous case, this goes the other direction as well. Here, we have two consecutive angles that add to 180 degrees. Therefore, we can state that the two lines are parallel, and the reason is that angle A plus angle B equals 180 degrees. In this lesson, you learned about interior angles and parallel lines that if you have parallel lines, then the alternate interior angles are equal. This is true the other direction as well. If you have alternate interior angles that are equal, then the lines are parallel. You also learned that if you have parallel lines, then the consecutive angles created by these lines add to 180 degrees. Again, this is true the other direction as well. If you have consecutive interior angles that add to 180 degrees, then you have parallel lines.